in, in, in terms of the uh, relationship of the, the graduate program, uh, what we do is, is that we have entry into the program in three different ways. For those people coming back to the school from an under, with an undergraduate degree in industrial design and some practice within the field of industrial design, we have what is called track one. Track one allows the person to come in and do one year plus a final project that will allow them to get their master of industrial design degree. Track two is a person coming in with a four-year degree and some professional uh, experiences that will allow them to take a two-year program and come into the program and receive their Master of Industrial Design. Track three is a program where we take people from other disciplines, for example, engineering, psychology, business, art, uh, history, philosophy, uh, whatever, political science, whatever it might be, and to come in and take undergraduate courses until they're for approximately two years that will allow them to then become uh, ready to be able to go in straight into the two-year Master of Industrial Design program. So now some people can go in faster depending on their past experiences and life work experiences or their education that, that they might have. It, we interview each one in, independently uh, both at the undergraduate degree and at the graduate degree, at looking at their portfolio to be able to make sure uh, that we have the right fit for those person when they come in. Now, industrial design has changed over the years that I've been involved, from the, from the very first where we were just mainly stylists, designing new hubcaps for the three-year change for the Chevrolet or new colors for the Chevrolet or new fabrics on the interior to today where we're designing products that relate to operations uh, in the medical field, that relate to uh, furniture uh, that is designed here in the United States, it's manufactured in other countries, and so on. One of the things that, that you will find in the future of industrial design, as I said earlier, it's changed considerably because right now one has to be able to work with all of those disciplines that I, that I pointed out, especially in, in terms of if will a product sell because what it basically boils down to, a lot of products are very well designed but they're, they're easier to, to be able to manufacture, easier to distribute, and easier to use because of the human factors and, of it. And that's what makes the product go. And it's, what happens is you start just trading price points in all of these different areas so that it can be manufactured cheaper, it can be from less expensive to sell, less expensive to store, less expensive to ship, less expensive to use, uh, when, it, when it's used by the consumer. All these factors have a profound effect on the success of any given product. The future of industrial design, uh, that's hard to say, but one of the things that I am cognizant of and one of the things I feel very sure of is that if you have the ability to be able to identify a problem, not the symptoms of problems, but identify a real problem, to be able to break that problem down to its lowest common denominator, to be able to start to s go ahead and establish goals and objectives in order to be able to do that, to be able to have that product put into manufacturing and the, and the channels of distribution and then sold and marketed, then you're going to have the ability to take whatever is you're confronted with in the future. Things today are changing. China, for example, is becoming more and more a manufacturer. Over 80% of all the things that you see in, in Walmart, for example, are made in China uh, and manufactured in China. Most of the furniture that you see in the United States that was traditionally made in North Carolina is now manufactured in China. It's designed here in the United States, but they're manufactured uh, in, in other countries. And that's, that's true of all. For, for it started off uh, with Japan, and then it went to Korea, and then it went to the Philippines, and then it went to Thailand, and now it's into China. And China, because of its natural resources, are going to be major players within in the field. You're going to have to be able to work with them and work with people in India and work with people in Africa and work with people all over the world 
because that's where the resources are that you will be able to specify that will be in the process of making the particular products that you design. It becomes a really very interesting kind of a, of a dialogue. And if you have the process for able to solve problems and the tools to be able to bring products to fruition, there'll be no problem whatsoever within your future. Amen.